Why Do Guys with Usama and Dylan. Why Do Guys? Hello, everyone, and welcome to the first and potentially only solo episode of Why Do Guys, the podcast. I'm your host, Dylan James Palladino. Full name, DJP. DJP, a nickname I tried to give myself in middle school, didn't really work out. Instead, people called me Tall Shit and Palosaurus Rex, all right? And I still remember those nicknames to this day. The second one, actually pretty original. Not gonna lie, Palosaurus Rex. Tall shit, really just run of the mill. Something that a 10 year old makes up. Nick Sinclair, I think made it up. Nick, it's okay, man, we got in a fight once. Um, You tried to punch me and I held your head back like in the cartoons and you couldn't reach me and then you fell to the ground. It's one of the most powerful times I've ever, I've ever felt in my life and I uh, haven't gotten in a fight since. He's a good guy now, very funny, but I um, it was a formative moment for me. Anyway, guys, um, this isn't usually a solo podcast, but Usama Siddiqui, my co-host, is out today. You know, sometimes things happen in life and you got to take them in stride. You just, you just go with it, okay? And Usama is not athletic at all. No one would call him athletic. People would actually call him the opposite of athletic. He used to be very skinny, so he looked more athletic, and then now he's been gaining weight, and he's got those chubby, chubby cheeks, and still doesn't work out, so the opposite is happening. He's, he's He works out even less and is just taking in more calories, and for some reason, he thought he could, I don't know, race someone last night. <laughs> when you're over 30 years old, don't ever race someone. Just don't do it. You're going to lose. Also, you're going to hurt your body. Your body is not made for it. After 26, your body starts dying. Okay. It's like, Hey, wrapping this up. Doesn't seem like you're having kids. So we're going to stop making new hamstring cells. So this dumbass was like, Oh, I can race this guy. And he raced, he tried to race him. And then when he, it's always when you slow down, like he was, he was picking up speed. He was going, he was going. And then we tried to slow down. Um, his hamstring just like got, pu- he, he pulled it. He didn't tear it because he just doesn't have enough strength to tear his own hamstring, but he pulled it because his hamstrings are like, Hey, we've never done this before. What's going on. You were just st- studying Bangla or whatever. In, in high school, you weren't on the track team. So, so his ass pulled it. He lost the race too, which is the funniest oh, part. Man. His ass lost the race. So he lost the race, pulled his hamstring, texted me last night at like 1.45 a.m. I don't even know. Like, I, I, This guy is just all over the place all the time. And then he comes at me where he's like, dude, you, you get so aggro with me on text. You're always like sending me a thousand things. I'm like, it's like, bro, because when you text me, I know that I have, I don't know, five minutes of your time before you go to something else. People call me a squirrel. Usama's a fucking squirrel. (laughs) Except for his athleticism. So he texts me at, um, what does he, when does he text me? And I'm just giving you guys, uh, let's see. My girlfriend just texted me. She's like, my girlfriend was like, oh, if no one, if no one uh, gives you their phone number, you can call me. And I was like, about like, what are we going to talk about? Me checking up on you? Hey, how's your day? (laughs) She's like, no, you have to have legitimate questions. I'm like, but what am I? I don't want to know about. If I have like a real hard hitting question, I don't know if I want to ask my girl yeah. because then I might like figure out something about her past <laughs> that I don't really want to know. Look, I'm a big proponent of don't ask your significant other about their past at all. At all. Okay. You get with someone new in your mind. They Whatever makes you feel better. Either they fucked a thousand people or they fucked zero people. Whatever it is, you just tell yourself that and you never ask them about any of their encounters. I mean, they have, they've had, of course, they've had previous girlfriends, boyfriends, they, them, friends, whatever. Okay. They've had it all. But you don't need to go into detail. Asking your significant other about their past only leads to fights. 
It only leads to fights, but we all like to do it because we are weird masochists and we want to get in a fight sometimes. You know, sometimes you're like talking to your significant other, uh, you're like talking to your girlfriend and you're like, I know this is going to cause a fight, but I'm going to do it anyway. You're like, or, or sometimes, you know, you had a bad week and you're like, yeah, I want to get in a fight right now. And so you just bring some shit up where you're like, let's go. Let's fuck you're you're in your corner and she's in her corner and you're like let's all right let's go let's let's do it out dude okay it's been a long week my boss has been a dick to me let's fight about some shit that happened six months ago at your aunt's birthday party where I was five minutes late even though you told me the wrong address let's get into it and then that that's just what you do so I don't really want to I remember I was in the I was in the um, elevator with her um, last night we went to sushi and. Um, Actually, let me finish. What was I? Oh, I wanted to say about Osama. Um, he literally goes, "Bro, real talk. I deeply pulled my hamstring in deep pain. We'll go to doctor first thing in the morning." This is at 1:17 a.m. Oh, man. At 8:20 a.m., he's walking to the doctor. So I'm already like, "You only got eight, seven hours of sleep, probably less. That's already not good. Already you already enough. aren't recovering enough. <laughs> you don't understand your, how your body works at all." He goes and he's like, we'll see if we can still do the podcast. And then he gets out and he goes, I can't even squat down. He's probably going to want to talk about this on the episode. Uh, but he's like, I don't even know how to take a shit. <laughs> Which is a real question to have, I guess. He's like, I don't know what to do. I was like, well, you got to do a pistol squat, dude. Um, for real. I think that's what he's going to think that's what he's going to have to do. But now he's going to PT. And so you just take things in stride. I was like, you know what? Well, we'll figure it out. We were supposed to do two episodes today because I'm going to Norway in 10 days, but whatever, man, you figure it out. You got to go with the flow. That's how life works. Sometimes your business partner, really big stretch calling it a business right now, but we'll get there. Um, your business partner pulls his hamstring in a street race like he's an eight-year-old child, okay? Because that's what you do when you're nine. You go, who's faster? And then whoever's faster is the king of the, the courtyard. What do you call the playground? The playground. That's what you do. Oh, I'm the king of the playground. Oh, I'm fucking faster. Oh, shit. Good. I could run away better. Bitch. Dude, if it was me, honestly, if I go back now, let's get into, uh, we, we go into a race. They'd be like, okay, three, two, one. The guy would start running. I would just stand there and I would go, I never run from anything. <laughs> and then I would win because I'd be like, I don't run. I'm not a bitch. I don't run from shit. And then he would be like, oh, shit. Yeah. I'd love to bully some eight-year-olds because they bullied me so much. Just come back. But the worst would be like, because the best comeback they can have is they're like, they're like, you're too old to be here. And you're like, yeah, you're right. I uh, don't really have anything to say to that. Um, you should be like, shut the fuck up, you young piece of shit. I'm going to hit on your mom. Anyway. It's nice doing this alone because I can just really kind of lean into whatever character I want to be. This is fun. Um, I used to do solo podcasts all the time. Um, but now we're doing this one with Usama. So anyway, so Usama's out. Um, I'm, I might go over a few questions people sent in today. I don't really... Th we're, I'm not going to go over Hinge profiles, guys, because like, you know, or maybe I will at the end. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. You know, I'm going with the flow. It's like when you're on a date. You know, this is a perfect example of how I go into a date. Some shit happens. Like one time I was supposed to go on a date with this girl. Now I fucked up and she fucked up. Now, did she make it that I fucked up fully and that she didn't take any blame? Of course she did. But I'm a stranger to her. She's like, whatever. I, I don't want to take any blame. Um, we were texting. We were texting and I was like, all right, let's go to the, I think the Garrett or some shit. Some shit that was like a like one of those fake speakeasies. By the way, all speakeasies in New York City suck ass. Like the New York City speakeasy culture is so lame. You just go there to take an Instagram picture. And it's also just a small piece of sheetrock that they <laughs> painted to look like a soda, like a vending machine. And then you and then you you open it, and you're like, oh, whoa, <laughs> we're behind a wall. And now drinks are $19 instead of 12. Oh, oh shit. It's a the the ice cube is this perfect sphere. It's still like they're, they're so dumb. They're so dumb, but I, I went to one of them, obviously, because you want to um, you want to impress people. And also, you know, in the beginning, you, you go to a couple of them. You're like, oh, these are cool. And then they all sucked. Besides um, the one behind Criff Dog, Please Don't Tell, Bathtub Gin, and there's one other. 
Those are like the only cool ones in the city. But besides that, it doesn't really matter. Oh, there's the hotel one that's on like 2018th or something. Fuck, I forget what it's called. Um, that one is cool too. It's got a bunch of doors in it. Uh, but again, you know, you go in and then just because it's a speakeasy, it's automatically $21 for drinks. And you're like, I, I mean, like, it's just no drink is worth that much money. I don't care. Like, dude, if you're making me a drink that's $21, I want to see you like squeeze out the agave right there and make it. And I like, I need to see you chisel away the ice. You need to do some crazy shit. You got to dude. if you're, if I get a drink that's $21, you better be doing some magic tricks for me as well. Actual magic. And then you're like, here's a drink. And then also the coin was behind your ear the entire time. And what was your card? It's act, it's in, it's in the, the rind in the drink that you're drinking. And then and they go, oh my God, it's a queen of hearts. That's when it's worth $21. Not when they call it some name and they say they use a bunch of like buzzwords and infused and they put a bunch of different herbs and shit in it. No. It's whack. It's not worth it. But um, I thought, oh, so I went on this so I texted this girl. I was like, let's go to let's let's get drinks on a Monday at like eight, seven thirty, whatever. I like I like a Monday drink. It's nice. You know? Cause then if it goes well, um, you can have another drink on Wednesday. And if not, you have the entire week to find other people on Hinge and ask them out. So we set it up. Um, I I forget exactly what happened, but I told her when it was happening. And then uh, on Sunday, I think I confirmed with her. I was like, all right, see you tomorrow. And she was like, okay, see you tomorrow at the Garrett. And I didn't respond. Then... This was the point of contention. She said that I didn't res I didn't confirm the next day before the date, before 5 p.m. My rebuttal was, I said, see you there at this time, like a day earlier. But she was like, I've had guys not show up, which I honestly don't fucking believe. But she's like, I've had guys not show up. I showed up to a place. I texted her and she, and she I was like, Hey, I'm about to walk up. And she goes, I'm in bed. What the hell? And I was like, what? You couldn't have texted me? Hey, are we still doing this an hour before? So then I get there. Luckily, I was able to change the reservation to two days later. We went, we went it was great. It's actually almost a year ago. Um, that was an interesting relationship. Uh, anyway. <laughs> um, and I was just like, dude, just, just. Enough with all these made up rules that nobody knows. Oh, you're supposed to text. You're supposed to check in. If the guy doesn't check in with me before 2 p.m. Dude, if you have these rules that you have not made clear to the other person, you got to also assume they don't know that. So you got to be like, okay, you didn't check up with me before 2 p.m. But you know what? I really want to see this guy or I want to actually be a considerate human. Get your fucking ego out of it and just text his ass. Hey, are we still, are we still hanging out tonight? And he'll be like, yeah, for sure. And then if he doesn't answer, you don't. You actually don't even have to reschedule with him because his ass, he didn't do it. He didn't show up. Okay. Oh, but he should be taking the prerogative. No, dude, let's just, let's hang out. Let's do it. Don't stop getting all these. He said he should, she should. Nah, just, just check in, double check. Okay. Take car, carp, fuck. I don't want to say carpe diem because I hate that phrase, but you know, take that shit. Seize that shit. Just seize it. I'm not going to say the second part, but just, car you know what? Carpe the shit. No DM, no Noctum. Remember those parties? They would call him like Carpe Noctum. Who's like, seize the night. We're going to get drunk as fuck. Drunk as fuck on, uh, on uh, hypnotic in LSA. Fucking. And, and like, yeah. And just get blasted and play beer pong. Um, we're really seizing the night. You're 19 years old. Um, anyway, Carpe that shit, dude. Just carpe it. Uh, so yeah, anyway, um, all speakeasy suck. That's what that's what happened. But I, I I didn't talk to that girl about her past. I didn't I I have not talked to my current girlfriend about her past. I just don't think it's a good idea. The other day I made like a because I I got a past. I got a past. I've been pretty open about it. So I'm I'm sure 
She's well aware. She hasn't listened to my episode on Girls Gotta Eat, but she's well aware. Um, and then in the in the elevator the other day, we were coming back from coming back from sushi, and she was. <laughs> I said something to her, and I was like, "We were talking something about the past," and I go, "Well, I mean, you weren't like hoeing it up, you know." And then she kind of looked at me and she goes, well, I mean, depends on the, depends. And it was my mistake. I shouldn't have crossed that line. But right sometimes, you know, you put the hook, I put the bait out. I was like, I was like, you going to let me know some shit? You can let me know about how much of a hoe my girlfriend was? Come on. Let me know. Let me know. Cause you are, cause I've already insinuated I was a bit of a hoe and there ain't no, there ain't no problem. But, you know, you you want to make sure. I think the thing is you never want the other person to be more of a hoe than you were. So it's like. And I, I think it probably is the same for men and women, but I think women sometimes just assume the guy was more of like a dog because we are. Um, and she goes like, it, I mean, it depends on like what you define as hoe, I, you know, like, and then she said something else about college. And I was like, never mind, right never mind. Never. Everything that I, uh, there's, there's now a thousand things going through my head where I'm like, oh, maybe that's why she does that. Maybe was, and I'm like, oh no, 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 no. I'm like, no, it's like, dude, stop it. Stop it there. It's not worth it. So every woman listening, don't ask your man about his past. Every man listening, don't ask your woman about her past. Okay. And also that goes for non-heteronormative relationships, okay? I'm trying to be very inclusive. Every man listening, don't ask your man about his past. And every woman listening, don't ask your woman about their past. And every they, them listening, don't ask your they, them, he, or she about their past. It's not worth it. It's never worth it. It's never, it, when can it go, uh, oh, honey, oh, how was your, every person I've fucked except you has sucked and it's also only been three people. I think that's the only way it can go well, right? Yeah. What's like the number? Because you don't want your girl to have had sex with, you don't want your partner to have have had sex with zero people because then it's not going to be, I mean, some people do and that's weird. God bless. I mean, God bless, bro. But like, you really want a virgin? Oh, man. Yeah. Every, like, every person who's like, who fetishizes a virgin, bro? That's gross. Yeah, that's, kind of that's fucking gross. It's weird as fuck. Yeah. It's a no, it, you know what? You know what a virgin is? It's basically a, a way of saying like I want someone who's underage. That's yeah. that's really what it is. Yeah. It, you're disgusting, dude. <laughs> you're, you're you're basically being like I would love for uh, the father to pass her off to me. No way, dude. Gross. Yeah, no one crazy. wants a virgin man. Oh my god. Could you imagine a girl being like I want a nice sweet virgin man? Oh, man. I do remember though. When I used to cater, there's this guy, Yulian, this, this, was it Ukrainian? No, he was Romanian. Mm. Fucking vampire of a guy. Yeah. He just looked like a vampire. Just, stiff as a just fucking stiff, white skin, long black hair, just like skinny yeah. dude, gaunt, vampire. It's from Transylvania. Literally, dude. I think Transylvania is in Romania. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Transylvania is in Romania, right? Pretty sure. Where, yeah, where, where is Transylvania? Yeah. Is it, is that a made up place? No, it's gotta be real. Not transgender inmate program. It's interesting. It's a, it's a historical region in Central Romania. Yeah, bro. This full. Oh wait, wait. Go to that picture. It's actually kind of nice. That looks like where Dracula would live. Transylvania is nice, dude. <laughs> Transylvania from Bucharest, Transylvania. You can do a, a day tour. Okay, wait. So go, go to that second one. Yeah, right there. Wow. Bro, Transylvania is beautiful. 10 things you know to be, what are 10 things we need to know bef before visiting Transylvania? Vampires don't exist. That's the first one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, you can accept all cookies, I think, or just press X. Yeah, whatever. Let's see. What are the 10 things? Dracula is real. What? Uh, Vlad, Dracula, I don't care, whatever. It's like stepping back in time. Okay, so first of all, horrible article, that, and things aren't numbered. So I don't, where are the 10 things? Step, okay. A Hungarian phrase book comes in handy. These are bad things to know. The Saxons made their mark. 300 years ago. You can wallow in thermal springs. Wallow? <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be wallowing. Mineral mud and warm, salty waters of Bear Lake. Feeling brave. Head to Co Kovasna for a mofet. A sauna of post-volcanic gases. Okay. That's kind of tight. It's great for bear spotting. Hey, man, I don't want to be anywhere near bears. 
I don't want to. The only place I want to spot bears is from on my couch on Netflix. Bears are fucking terrifying. I think I'm. I think I'm the most scared of bears of all land animals. I can't really think of a, another animal that would fuck you up harder than a bear. Maybe a gorilla. A gorilla would would, would but a gorilla would like beat the shit out of you. But a bear would tear you in half and start eating you. You imagine you're there and you're like, holy fuck, I can't believe I'm being eaten by a bear right now. Like that would be the last thought you would have in your mind. Holy shit, a bear is eating me. Wow, I can't believe this is happening. As you're dying, I can't believe this is happening. This is so lame. I wonder what they're going to tell people. Because then people are going to be at your funeral. They're going to be like, did your dog get eaten by a bear? Yeah, he should have never went to Transylvania. So stupid. Prince Charles is a big fan. What? what okay. Is this an article written, written by someone from the UK? Who gives a fuck about Prince Charles? Is Prince Charles the uh, the redhead one? That's Harry. Harry. Harry's the hot one. So Prince Charles is the ugly one, right? Or is he old? He might be the one who just died. Yeah, he was the one that died. Yeah, yeah God, dude, that guy. All right, yeah. Wasn't he kind of a Nazi though? No, age 70. No, no, he's still alive. Is he? Right? Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, his uh, his father was Prince Philip, right? Philip died. Philip yeah, died. Yeah, Bro, Philip. that fool. Look up Philip. That, that, guy, oh, that dude God. looked like Dracula. That dude looked like death. Duke of Edinburgh. Oh, when is the crown coming back? God, that guy looked bad. Ooh. Holy shit. Holy <laughs> shit. He's like, why am I still alive? <laughs> Every time he wakes up. That dude, every single time he wake up, he woke up, he did this. Fuck! <laughs> He's like, why am I still alive? <laughs> Fuck! Oh Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> That's it. Oh, man. Even this picture was like 50 years before. Still that. looks horrible. Dude, just shave the hair. Shave it. When do you think him and the queen stopped having sex? He was 90. What do you think, like 70 years old? Man. Or do you think like they're required to have sex like once a year or something yeah, just to like keep the, uh, there, there must be some dumb rule like that. Whatever. They're a bunch of Nazis. Um, honestly, he was, a, he was like straight up a Nazi or like from a family of Nazis. Uh, okay. Go back to 10 things you should know. It is the world's most amazing road. What does that mean? This is a horrible article. I'm done with this article. It's so bad. What? Oh, what? Actually, hold on. That is an insane road. The trans, uh, I want to, okay, guys. Now, I'm going to read this the way it's written. It sounds bad, but I'm just reading it. The trans fagragon -fag -fag road named the world's best road by Top Gear. Okay, that road is 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 pretty awesome. I'm not going to lie. If you guys aren't watching the YouTube, this road is... I mean, it looks like... Uh, what, what were those cars? Matchbox? It looks like... No, like the little like uh, matchbox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would like go around on a little track. It kind of looks like that. Hot Wheels. Yeah. Hot Wheels were great. Now people just do that in VR. I feel so bad for my kids. Whatever they're going to do. Um, Do you think you're going to use an iPad with your kids? It's like you tell yourself that you're not going to. Yeah. But then. My brother said he's not going to have an iPad child. And I'm like, yo. Talk to me when you're on a plane and your kid is screaming exactly. and the only thing it wants to look at is like coca melon or whatever. Just give it to it. They all want one too. My brother said the same thing. He's got three kids now. I mean, I'm not going to do it all the time, but like, and maybe I'll try to do something that like at least is purportedly helps with their brain or some shit, like one of those games. Right. But they used to just like give us rum. <laughs> That's what they would like make us shut up. A baby was teething and they're just like, give it a shot of rum. And everyone was like, okay. They were just like, oh, dip your finger and rub it on their gums. But what they really did was they were like, they kept dipping that shit in and then rubbing on their gums. And they were also drinking it and they were getting drunk at the same time. Fucking. I took like 10 shots of sake last night. Oh, yeah. At this uh, all you can eat. Uh, it wasn't all you can eat. It was omakase sushi in like uh, Queens. Guys, if omakase sushi has one of the offerings is all you can eat or all you can drink sake, I'm going to tell you right now, the sushi's not good. <laughs> and that's coming from someone who did it last night. Yeah. The sushi wasn't bad, but like 
it was some it was some Toro and some tuna where I was like, this shit feels like it's been in the fridge for probably a day too long. And of course I'm gonna eat it. And I'm fine. I didn't get sick. But I was like, this is attracting people who just want to get like wasted. Uh, and then say they also got like a good omakase experience. Yeah. Like the guy had uh the guy fed us uh shrimp ceviche. And I'm like, I don't think you're supposed to eat shrimp raw. Right? I think you're supposed to cook shrimp. And he said it's ceviche, so I think they put lime over it. No, I don't know. I might be dead in three days and Usama will be doing a, <laughs> a single one. So we'll see. But anyway, what's f first of all, it's hot as shit. It's hot as shit. And there's, oh, not in here. I meant like in general in life, but we might have to turn the AC back on. Um... I would say you're sorry that Usama's here, but you guys are probably happy that you're just not having him scream into your ears for the for the next 30 more minutes. K, if you're listening, not sure if you need to uh, pull clips from this one, but you know what? If you do, that's fine. But this one, this one's just for the diehard fans, the listeners. You guys like it, you like it. If you don't, good for you. But no need. To, I mean, you're gonna like it. This is um, this is good. This is chill. I like doing this. Uh, but don't be one of those people that's like gonna pass on this episode. You know those people, bro. I've now, dude. I used to not understand why people would block people online because they'd be like, "Oh, it makes you seem like such a bitch," or like, "Oh, you're being so." No, dude. You say one thing out of line, your ass is blocked immediately. I don't need you in my life, bro. I don't know you. I don't like you. I don't not like you, but I don't like you. So I've never met you. You're going to come to me with that energy to begin with? Dude, if I met someone like that and they said some off or some like off-handed shitty thing, I'd be like, "Oh, I don't I don't like you. I'm I'm extricating you from my life. You're not not even really in my life or but now I'm going to make sure you're not." I'm up, dude, and it feels so good. Oh shit, blocked. You're blocked. Oh shit, you're blocked. Get out. Is an L take. Oh, you know what's an L take? You're blocked, bro. Also, L take. Stop talking. Stop speaking the way you saw other people talk on the internet. Have a personality. Stop speaking like we're on Twitter and TikTok. The worst is when, dude, I feel bad for Gen Z because now you talk to them in real life and they go, oh, that, oh, common W. You go, what? Bro, this, is, the, this isn't uh, Max Lift's comment section, dude. We're like hanging out at a bar. You can't get a beer and it's the guy, pour, you can't like be looking at the bartender and he pours the beer perfectly and you go, common W bartender. Shut, <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I mean, I, I remember I hung out with this girl and she, um, we were talking and she, she was doing like, not me doing this thing. And I was like, oh. you can't, you can't oh. talk like that. Stop. Stop talking like a gay dude, man. Let yeah. them have the way they talk, all right? Stop it. Not me, do no. Not not you talking like that. I remember she said something. I remember she said something. She was like, she goes, oh, I went to the airport and I was in, um, I was in the slip-ons and I had to take them off for the, like, the airport check-in. And so then I was barefoot on the airport ground. And she was like, I'm fucking disgusting. Jail. Take me straight to jail. Uh, and I was like, I mean, I get it, but also you're you're being dramatic. You're being overdramatic. It's not that. I mean, yeah, it's kind of gross, but we've all made the mistake. It's all good. You, gotta do it. you could just be like, I mean, you do have to do it or else you're not getting on the flight. <laughs> There's no other option. Sometimes, I mean, you're just like, oh, shit. Oh, damn. J I mean, Jail. Just don't touch your feet till you get home. <laughs> if there's one part of my body I would actually like to be dirty, I think it would be my feet because yeah. I don't need to use them for anything. Literally for anything, <laughs> okay? If someone was like, hey, you have to have shit on one part of your body, I think I would say my feet even before my asshole because <laughs> I have to touch my asshole a couple times during the day, yeah. okay? I'd rather it be in my feet all the time. If they were like, hey, so... uh." You, you have to clean shit off of your feet twice a day, but your asshole will always be clean. I'm taking that. I'm taking that immediately. That is a great, great compromise. I was doing a uh, TikTok live before I walked here and some guy was like, uh, 
uh, talk about whether you should wipe front to back or back to front. Hey, who the fuck wipes back to front? And if you do, go to the doctor. You have sepsis. There's something wrong with you. If you wipe back to front, everything you've learned is a lie, okay? Your whole life has been a lie. You, you need to figure it out. Back to front, dude? You're wiping your, your shit towards the front of your, towards either your cock or pussy? What? Can you look up wiping back to front? Why would anyone ever do that? I remember my friend used to do that. My friend, my friend used to, he used to show me, he said it was easy for him because he would scoop under his nuts and then wipe forward. And I was like, no, dude. And look, I get it. Cause sometimes you got to lean forward and you lean on that one hip. Dude, one time I was leaning forward and it was a very, very rickety toilet bowl. And then you know how the toilet, the toilet bowl, some of them move, bro, it fucking, now my cock is enormous. So it, it, my, my, my cock was down. Okay. It, it like the, the bowl tilted to one side and it fell off and actually pinched the tip of my dick. Bro, I thought I pinched my head off. I thought I pinched the head of my dick off. I was so, I just sat there for a second and I didn't look down because I was ready to see a headless cock. And I was like, oh, I'm doing the head, the headless cock man. And I, I was just like, that's what that's what's gonna happen. And I looked down and it was fine, but there was like a red mark on it. And this is also just because my dick is so long. It's insane how long. In insane how long it is. The psalm is not here, so I have to be controversial and like really push push the limit and annoy some of you guys. But um, you got to lean forward, you know, and you, and you go you go on one hip and then you try to make it work. Uh, but still, wiping from back to front. Can, here, here we go. Wiping from back to front can bring bacteria from the rectum towards rectum is a horrible word. God, I don't like that word. I know it's the the right word rectum. God. Five common bathroom mistakes you might be making. Let's, let's click on it from shape. Not wiping front to back. Okay. Of course, over wiping. You can over wipe when it comes to cleaning up down there. The conversation tends to focus on whether or not you should wipe front to back. Who is having this conversation <laughs> for real though? Who is having the conversation of whether you should wipe front to back or back to front? I, I'm really curious. Write in. Call in. I actually want to ask my friend. Why my, my friend out? My friend Alex is at work. He, I'm going to call him. Let's call him. He might be like, you can't do this. He's not going to answer because he's at work. But Yeah. Let me see. Let me see if Julian will answer. Come on, Alex, pick up. Either I'll cut this or I'll just leave it in that he didn't answer. Because this is also proof. They're always like, dude, you should call in, have me in on the show. And then I call and they're not available. Now, is it because they have normal jobs? Yes. <laughs> Please leave your Damn message. it. All right. Um, it's fine. Uh, hey, my friend. No, Henry, won't do it. whatever. It's fine. Okay, let's see. Overwiping. Um, overwiping can ir irritate the perianal skin, lead to small abrasions. God, some medical stuff is so gross. Sitting on the to you can sit on the toilet too long. What's twenty? What's the longest you've sat on the toilet? You think? Maybe like forty. Yeah. Like and if you're like really time watching time. some shit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You you're never actually shitting for that long. You're <laughs> shitting for maybe five minutes, and then you're just watching some shit, or you're just like, this is nice. No one's gonna like. No one is gonna bother me in here. I did uh, take a shit today and my brother's dog came in and just watched me take a shit. I don't know what it is about dogs. They like to watch you shit. They really do. But you know what You know what I think it is? I think dogs like watching us shit because we watch them shit all the time. So now they're like, <laughs> how's it feel, bro? They're like, how's it feel? Yeah, you don't like it. Uh, we don't like it. It feels just as weird us doing it as it does when you watch us. Look away, give us some privacy. That's why I'm all, like, when he shits now, I'm like, I won't look this way, dude. Here's some privacy. I put up a little privacy screen around him and shit. Yeah. Uh, using an air dryer, jet air dryers spread 27 times as many microbes as paper towels. <sighs> we can't get any, we can't do anything right. We're like trying to help the environment. So hot air dryers suck up bacteria. Um, 
your best grab a paper towel to dry off your mitts and head for the door. But aren't you just breathing in that shit bacteria anyway? Whatever, cleaning too much down there. I'm not gonna... A hair dryer to wick away excess moisture. Hair dry your asshole? Simply wash with mild soap and water when showering or bathing. Yeah, I mean, you wash your, you wash your asshole. Do you? Dude, imagine using an air dryer on your... You know what? I bet you it feels really good. I might do that later tonight. Um, Why did we start talking about this? Oh, wiping front to back. Because someone was asking that. Yeah, there's no debate about it, dude. If you're wiping back to front, you're wrong. And you're like mentally unhinged. And there's a lot of things that you have... Your parents failed you, basically, if you're wiping back to front. It's a failure. And I, I'm, I hate to break it to you, bro. But that's just what happened. Um, it's hot as shit outside. And it's a heat wave. It's another heat wave, dude. But at this point, honestly, it's just the weather. You can't call it a heat wave when it happens every single week. Yeah, but it's just all. It's just the weather now, dude. New York City, the weather is just changing. People that are still like, oh, global warming isn't happening. There's like droughts everywhere. And then every week I get a text from Con Ed that's like, hey, we're ready for the heat wave. I'm like, dude, this is just my normal Monday text from you guys now. It's just always, there's another heat wave. Get ready for it. It's going to be 105 degrees. Don't turn, turn, don't turn off your AC or your dog will die. That's literally what it is. Like, I have to leave my AC on or my dog will just die. It'll have a heat stroke. It's crazy. So, so hot every... You go outside, you're just angry. My girlfriend and I got in a fight last night and it was just because she was hot. And we also... It was literally because she was hot. She was like, it's so goddamn hot outside. And then I walked in and I did the stupid thing again. I don't know why I did this. She walked in and I was like, it's not that hot. I don't know why I said... Why? Why did I do that? As soon as I said that, I was like, why did I say that? Just agree with her. But she's like, oh, it's so hot. Oh my God, I'm overheating. And I'm like, I walk in and I go, I mean, I walked from the train. It wasn't that bad. And she's like, okay, well, I'm really hot. And I go, oh, shit. Okay. What, like, what is it about your guys' body temperature that you can't, like, regulate it? It's either, like, you're too cold or you're too hot. I mean, unoriginal take, but also, like, but I should have ju just not said anything. Why, did I, why do I have to be the right one? It was the heat, dude. Why do I have to be the right one though? Just just let them be right. It doesn't affect me. I don't care. But instead, I always got to... Dude, if it was one of my friends, I'd be like... No, if it was one of my friends, I'd be like, oh, you're such a bitch. But it's like, <laughs> if it was someone that I didn't know that well, I'd be like, oh yeah, it is pretty hot outside. But with her, you got, I got to be right. I got to... So I'm normal person, and dude, some normal person in the elevator. I'm like talking to them about the weather every day, and I go, I hate myself every time I do this, but I still do it. Yeah, you know, it's a hot one outside, and I go, it's gonna be even hotter tomorrow. <laughs> and I go, even if I don't even feel that hot, but with her, you just gotta. I'm telling you, man, you you like get in relationships, and you just like look for shit to like fight about because you know you can get away with it with them. That's why I wasn't in one for eight years. <laughs> Um, dude, did you see Pete Davidson broke up with Kim Kardashian? Oh yeah. So like, what do we know? What happened? I like, heard anything about we look up Kim Kim K and Pete Davidson. Like, first of all, Kanye posted an insane thing on Instagram. It was just like so Skeet funny. Skeet Davidson dead. You know, what, bro, I'm I'm over this. Look, look, dude. Who gives a fuck about Pete Davidson in that? Like, who cares? Okay. Obviously, he's doing something right. Cause I mean. Kim Kardashian is not happy about Kanye West mocking Pete Davidson. Of course she's not. Um, now look, Pete Davidson and Kim Card and Kim Kim K dating was all a plant. It was planned. Okay, even if they had a good time, they both in the back of their head knew it wasn't going to last forever. Um, let's see. While a rep for Kardashian hasn't commented, a source tells Yahoo Kim is not happy about the post. They amicably split. Yeah. They're both supportive of each other. Yeah. I mean, and then Pete David, I mean, then Kanye posts New York Times headline Skeet Davidson dead at age 28. I mean, it is funny, dude. I don't know what to tell you. It is funny. Like, it's just objectively funny to post that more because he's such a famous, like, one of the best rappers of all time. And he's, oh, wait, what does it say at the bottom? Kid Cudi, Kid Cudi. 
Uh, meant to. Meant to play funeral. Funeral to. But fearful of bottle throwers. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. That's so fucking funny. I didn't catch that the That's a really good joke. Oh my god. God, dude, I mean Did, did you not you don't know what happened with the bottle throwing? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, when he got like uh someone threw a bottle and got all mad. Yeah, yeah, someone threw a bottle. Oh yeah, I never watched this. What happened with this? Um but like, Pete, I mean, for, stop calling him Skeet. You know, I'm, one of my cousins had a friend and he called him Skeet. And uh, it was because some dude uh, came on his face when he was sleeping one night. Stop. Yeah. And he oh, told me, he was like, don't call him that. He's like, we're allowed to call him that. Um, but you're not. And back then I kind of like understood it. But I was even kind of like, well, why would you guys call him that? That's really fucked up. <laughs> right, right. That's what a horrible nickname. That's so terrible. You watch this? Also, he was sexually assaulted. <laughs> <laughs> that's what actually happened. He didn't sleep. Something, yeah, literally, he was sexually assaulted. And you guys are like reminding him of it every single day. Oh my god! Why do you think he's a drinking problem? <laughs> Sh okay, let's watch it. Flying bottle, water, flying water. I will walk off the stage. If y'all throw one more thing up here, I will leave. I will leave right now. Throw one more thing on the stage. I will walk off. I'm not playing. Damn. Tell me. Ah, someone threw some shit. Hell yeah! What a dumbass. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he, he knew. It. Oh, so here's the here's the thing. When he did that, um, he knew someone was gonna throw something. Cause like, when you egg people on like that, it's just like the human psyche, just how we are. Yeah. Someone is gonna throw some shit, and he knew it. He probably was done. He was like, "I'm done with this shit. I want to leave, but I want to give him one more chance. I know someone is gonna fail." Um, I know someone is going to fail, so I'm just going to put it out there. And the water bottle came. Bro, his ass got off stage so quick. But for, for Kanye West to make fun of that, oh my God, that's so funny. That's so, good. That's so funny. But this is so, I mean, this is so sad. Like, I mean, dude, it's, it's, it's funny for online culture, but you're also like, dude, get a grip, bro. You ain't getting her back. This is like one of those guys where you're like, dude, everything you're doing is pushing her away like more and more. And also like Skeet David, dude, like, like leave this fool alone, bro. Obviously he's got some issues. He's talked about it. Okay. You're also just mad that he's been piping the hottest, hottest women around for <laughs> caught myself, hottest women around for the past like eight years. And He's doing something right. I think there is just like the allure of or the allure of like who he is. Right. I don't even know if like I'm sure he's just like a fun, normal guy. And they're like, oh, okay, I like this. It's like the only funny guy those like A list celebrities have been around. Exactly. But I will say, dude, and I'm this is directly to you, Pete. Pete Davidson, stay the fuck away from Martha Stewart. <laughs> stay away from her, all right? I saw you holding her hand. I'm just telling you right now, I'm on your side, bro. But if you start dating Martha Stewart, we got to throw hands. Is Dude, I'm telling you. Look at this. Where's the picture of them? Old? Just stay away from her, dude. All right? I'm not going to say she's mine because she, she's not mine. She belongs to no one. Let her do her thing. Look at this. Look at this. Pre-White House dinner. Imagine going to the White House as a comedian. You're like, what am I doing here? Fuck. Can we see the actual picture or probably not? No, it's gonna. Oh yeah, right there. Mm, of course, it cuts it off. Why would it do that? Every every website, if you're like, why are you? Okay, this is him holding her hand. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With Kim, he's looking at Martha. Dude, I'd be going for Martha too. Just stay away from her, bro. Okay, she's too baller for you. Okay, she's. I don't even want to say that I deserve her because I don't think anyone deserves her. But, and I have a girlfriend. I do. And and she's great. And I'm going to end it there. for the Now look, for the joke, I want to say, but if Martha Stewart hits me up, we're going to have to have a conversation. Okay? I wonder if she... <laughs>
I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna ask her, be like, can I, wait, let me call her real quick. She's gonna be, she's gonna be so pissed. I think she'll answer. Maybe not. Hey. Hey. Hey, I have a question. It's really quick. Yes. I'm recording the show. Okay. Okay. Now. Should I go out from my desk? You can probably answer in like yes or no. So. So it's very unlikely that this ever happens. But if I get a chance with Martha Stewart, can I can I go for it? So she asking for a hall pass? I'm, I'm just for Martha Stewart. I'm asking just for a hall pass for Martha Stewart. You're allowed to have one as well. Who do you want? You can get you can get everyone, anyone except Pete Davidson. Um you don't Pete Davidson, sure he's great. Not for me. Fuck um, yes. <laughs> And in terms of Martha Stewart, you, we, if, she, if she makes me a whole last meal afterwards, sure. Wow. Okay. So you're going to make her work for it. Of course. Why wouldn't I? Okay. No, you're right. Um, okay. I was going to say you could join in, but honestly, no, you just want the food. No, I, I would I would watch from a distance. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. You're the shit. All right, cool. Because Pete Davidson is going after her and... I would just, you know, that she's my only, she's the only person on my list. Everyone else, I don't give a fuck. But Martha is, that's my queen. Yeah, I mean, you love food, so it makes sense. It tracks. Yeah, I mean, that makes me sound so basic. But um, (laughs) who's uh, who's on your list, or do I want to know? Is it going to piss me off? Um, I don't know if piss you off would be it. But you have someone you're thinking of right now. You know, I'm really bad at uh, giving those types of answers because I don't think about those things. Okay, so, okay, okay. So now you're making me sound. Now that that makes me not sound good. Okay, you don't have anyone. Okay, that's good enough. All right, thank you. Wait, do, would you like me to have one? Oh, Matthew McConaughey. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I don't give a. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you. Could, yeah. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> All right. I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Matthew McConaughey. I'm not threatened by that dude at all. I mean, he's an amazing actor, but he's also like out of his mind. Matthew McConaughey. I'm also now. The more I think about it, I'm like him. I get. I guess. Yeah, he's fucking. He's just like, all right, all right, all right. This feels good. Yeah. He just like does a monologue while he's having sex with you. Does the the scene from Interstellar? He's like, when I was shooting Interstellar. That one scene where I was crying, I didn't think about a person. I thought about all the hatred and sadness in the world and me watching it on repeat. And that's what made me cry like that. Anyway, I just came inside you. I hope you're on birth control. Bye. That's, I don't wear, Matthew McConaughey doesn't wear birth, doesn't wear condoms. <laughs> Last time I wore a condom was uh, 1993. <laughs> Go uh, roll tie, whatever the fuck he says. <laughs> roll tie, you know. It was right after I shot. Uh, was he making movies in 1993? Days and Confused. Days and Confused. Yeah, right after I shot 1993, it was the sixth PA I'd fucked on Days and Confused. <laughs> I had to wear a condom because some of the other ones. <laughs> we had to take a, we had to take a little trip to the clinic. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. You can get the fuck out of here now. That <laughs> just becomes so mean. All right, I'm done with you now. You can get up. Drops his accent. Yeah, he drops his accent. You can get the fuck out. He sounds like that all of a sudden. You can get out. Please leave. Wow, she she wants to fuck Matthew McConaughey. That's crazy of all the people. Um, let's see. Yeah, so stay away from. Stay away from Martha Stewart. There is, there, dude. I saw something online. Will you look it up? Rain. The scientists just came out and said rain can't be drank anymore. No rainwater is safe to drink. That's how much we're fucking up the environment. If people want to talk about, um, oh, global warming isn't happening. It's like, yeah, uh, look, you can't have rainwater. Yeah. 
anymore. There's microplastics. That said, not all rainwater. No, this is not rainwater everywhere on Earth. Unsafe to drink. Right here. Oh my God, Europe! Stop respecting our privacy. Just track us already. Rainwater, uh, rainwater everywhere on Earth. Unsafe to drink due to forever chemical study finds. I mean, look, I I would say like if you're drinking rainwater, you're you're pretty like just down bad in life, like you're 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 down in your luck. But you should be able to get this is like what the water companies want. There's like there's no free water anymore. You have to have Arrowhead now. Per and polyflora alkyl substances are a large family of human made chemicals that don't occur in nature. They are known as forever chemicals because they don't break down in the environment. Cool, we made sure that doesn't break down. Oh, they're they're non-stick stuff. That's why you should be using a cast iron pan. Wow. And now they're in all the rainwater. What a great, great life we're living. What a great time to be alive. Just, just to see it all just to see it all come crashing down. Um people, a couple of people sent in their phone numbers, but uh I don't really know if I want to. How long have we been doing this? We have 50 minutes. We're at 50. We're at 50. Guys, some of you sent in your phone numbers. I didn't really know um, what to ask. We went over the the um, front to back. We went over that. That was the only real thing I wanted to. Uh, um, oh my god! Someone just. So, Someone just DM'd me. I made a TikTok video. This guy was like, I want to send you a picture on TikTok, but you don't follow me back. So I can't send you one. And then I just made a response being like, yeah, bro, that's on purpose. I don't want you to send me whatever weird shit you're going to send me. Because I got a lot. Of, I got a lot of people. A lot of like on, on my TikTok, for whatever reason, everyone is just gay dudes and they thirst hard and they... They come into my DMs and they say some wild shit. And I know on TikTok, they want to do the same thing. And the guy hits me up and he goes, hey, your most recent TikTok video response was my comment. And I was wondering if my name could be blocked out or something. Because if my boyfriend sees it, it'll make him so mad. I'm so sorry. Please, sir. <laughs> Let me text him back. I got you, bro. No worries. Uh, <laughs> but that's so funny, dude. Imagine you, f you find out that your significant other is like saying some shit like that on some random person. Dude, I would be... So I'd be mad. To. I'd be mad. Unless it was on unless it was my girl on Matthew McConaughey, because <laughs> who gives a shit about that? Um, someone wrote in on uh the why do guys then they asked the question. I think maybe I can uh I can answer before we get out of here. Uh uh let's see. Right here. Uh not Emily, but but oh Emily. Uh you're welcome for the the last thing, whatever. There we go. Um, I have a question for you guys. Let's see. There was her and then one. What the fuck is? Oh, Rosa. Rosa asked the question. Rosa also asked the question last week. But let's look at the one you asked even before that. She said... Uh, he reached out if we had sex two days after he said he'd been dating someone. This guy reached out two days after we had sex. Uh, and then he says he's been dating someone he wants to be in a relationship with and we should end. What are women doing wrong? Oh, I mean, that guy's just fucking around and not uh, being truthful with you. Uh, we, 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 most of the time, women, you guys aren't doing anything wrong. It's just guys um, not being honest. Like almost every time. That's usually what it is. Uh, let's see what this other girl said. As a guy on date on a dating app, would it be weird to find out that you were talking to the girl's friend in the beginning? Like the first few initial conversations, but once meeting dating IRL is being discussed, they talk to me. Okay, that seems like you forgot how to speak English in the last sentence. But once meeting IRL is being discussed, they talk to me. What the fuck? I think what she's trying to say who is this, Kate? Yeah, Katie. I think what she's saying is that, like, would a guy be weirded out by, in the beginning, um, all the conversations are with her friends, and then eventually, in person, obviously, you're just talking to her. Keep that shit to yourself, honestly. <laughs> Don't tell him that. It's kind of weird. 
I look, there's w- w- there's a big difference between being like, hey, how do I respond to this? Or like, give me like a witty response or a question or what do I say? All of those questions where you ask someone. But if you give your phone to someone else and they're just having the conversation, that's fucking weird, dude. Yeah. I thought I was talking to you. That's like, that's like literally catfishing. I mean, not actually because you're still meeting the person in real life. But what if I vibe with the person that I'm talking to and then I meet you and I'm like, this feels off. And then you're not being truthful about like, oh, that was actually my friend. Unless it was like two interactions, but it also feels like high school. You know what I mean? It feels like middle school where like, you remember in middle school you would be texting someone or in high school and then like all of a sudden they'd start saying weird shit or they'd like say something that obviously you know they wanted to say mm-hmm. but then they'd be like I, I'd i really like for us to make out or some like really straightforward shit and they'd be like oh my god sorry that was my friend right, right. and you you kind of would you would kind of know it wasn't um, but sometimes they would say some random stuff like What's that cock look like? LOL, LOL, LOL. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. like, did you, have you shaved already? Or like just some, I don't even remember what they would say because it's like just so, my brain can't, I mean, my brain can't go there, I think. But, um, God, dating in middle school and high school is f- so fucking weird. Um, you just ask your friend to ask their friend if they liked you. The weirdest like game of telephone ever. Yeah. And then if they said no, it still hurt, but it wasn't as weird because they didn't say it to your face. But when you saw them, you still knew like, oh, this person knows that I was into them. And they said, no. Um, yeah, don't tell them that, Katie. Also, don't do that. Just, dude, just just talk to them. Just have a conversation with them. If it doesn't go well, it doesn't go well. But like trying to have your friends help you out so you can like get to the in-person part, if you have a hard time talking to someone via text, just rush it along and be like, hey, when are we going to meet? Or just be like, hey, or do the thing that a lot of women do. Like, oh, I, I don't check this a lot. Um, so like, just let me know when you, um, when you want to grab a drink or something. Like, like you guys, you can find a way to move the conversation along. Number one, you shouldn't be having a lot of conversations on dating apps. They should be like, very quick. I remember I talked to this one woman who, who's from Israel and she said that in Israel dating apps, I think it was, it was a comedian, um, Iman, uh, uh, Iman, yeah. She said that uh, like in Israel on dating apps, no, it wasn't her. She's Palestinian. What am I saying? Um, someone was telling me that in Israel on the dating apps, within three interactions, they ask for the phone number. It's like, hey, What's going on? Like, they, like there's three texts and the person that goes like, let's move this to, to text because the dating app is inferior. And, but then soon after that, you should be like just getting a feel for the person, making sure they don't just seem completely out of their mind. And then you ask them to hang out. Um, oh, Alex is calling. Hell yeah. Alex. Alex, I'm recording the podcast, bro. Wait, what the fuck do you want? <laughs> Dude, we were talking... <laughs> We were talking about wiping front of back wait, or back. What? What? Who's the guest? It's just me, dude. We're doing a solo one because okay. Usama, Usama fucking pulled his hamstring. <laughs> He's an idiot. It must have been exhausting carrying around that ego. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, got him. Got his ass, dude. Oh, man. Yo, okay. Do you know anyone that wipes back to front? I thought you used to wipe back to front. I only... You mean... Wait, you mean... Wait, back to... You mean from like under the front? From your asshole to you, towards your balls, right? You, mean you, gotta go through, you threw the front though, is what you're saying. Yeah, but I mean, yes, through yeah. the front, yes. Yeah, through the front, un, under the dick. I, so I, it wasn't my natural, it wasn't my go-to natural. I was born obviously doing it the way that humans should do the it. Way that God, the way that God intended. Yeah. But I had, I had, do, do you remember why? Is that why you're calling me? So I had a, I had this thing called a pilonidal cyst. Oh my god! It was, on, it, was on my ta- it was on my tailbone, and I had to get it removed. And the doctor's like, "Look, this thing is like super nasty, super painful. Oh and my- if you don't, you go, you gotta wipe like this for like at least a couple months while it like heals after this surgery." So I basically got like <laughs> scarred from this experience, and now I've been, you know, I've converted ten years for you know. Wow. I now I now do. 
back to front through the front. It's not great. It's embarrassing. Wait, so <laughs> wait, why, well, why don't you, why don't you, wait, can we use this mic? Why don't you, why don't you switch back? It's not that simple. You know, you do something like this all the time and then you just kind of get stuck it's, doing it. I don't know. I mean, it just becomes who you are. It's my right hand. Now it's my left. Like, like I don't know what to tell you. It's, it's, it's <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of ambidextrous in that way. I'll probably go back to wiping the other way at some point. It's just not, not in the cards for me right now. I mean, maybe this is the impetus to go back to front to back. Because I remember I you. Mean, the- now, now I'm going to think about this phone call every time I go to wipe. <laughs> That's good. That's good. You should. That's how my brain works. I get these like emotionally scarring experiences and then I get stuck overthinking Holy like, you know, shit. chapters of my life. Yeah. So, <laughs> so now that I just turned 30, I'll probably like my one of my main focuses with like my body will be, you know, learning how to wipe again. Hey, you know what, dude? I'm happy that I could I could set you on that journey because that is that is something you should figure out in your 30s. Because all of your 20s, you've been riping the incorrect way. Thank God you don't have a vagina. Is all I'm going to say because then you'd be getting a lot of UTIs. Yeah, you're right. But you know, it's maybe I will. Who knows? Maybe the next 10 years I'll get a vagina. I'm just saying, <laughs> you know, we can't rule these things out. Dude, yeah, you're right. Be, if I was a woman, I would probably have, I'd probably set the record for UTIs a year. <laughs> I believe that a hundred, a hundred percent, bro. Yeah, you really. I, I'm, hy- I'm hygienic by, by male standards. Yeah, male standards. I, not- I don't, I don't know that I have, you know, would have the effort in me as a, as a female. Not female standards. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you, I, 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 I wouldn't be that, um. What do you think your favorite position would be uh, when you transition? When I what? When you tra- when transition. <laughs> when you transition. What do you think your favorite position will be? Oh, that's a hard one. Um, Probably from behind. You got a you got a pretty good ass. No, it's too simple. It's too simple. Too I simple. Like that doing. I'm only doing three positions. How many positions are you doing? No, it'd be something bad, something upside <laughs> down, where my neck would suffer. It, it would be like something not great to be honest that's all i'm gonna leave you there i this isn't i've, I've been on a work call for two hours so this isn't something that i was thinking about today. okay all right bro i'll talk to you soon how much, I, how much longer are you are you doing this for i'm about to end right now you called literally at the end of the show it's perfect perfect okay all right uh, all right um, um i'll see i'll see you uh, later this week right how much do I get paid for this call? Right now? <laughs> uh, I think like uh, like uh, seventy five um, Dogecoin. It's like so. It's like point point zero six cents, something like that. I was gonna say those things are worthless at this point. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, you get Luna Luna Coin or whatever the fuck it is. Fuck you, Dylan. I love you. Like, All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> there you have it, folks. Alex um, did it because he had a traumatic cyst on his ass so now we now we now we figured it out um the only reason you should be wiping back to front is if you had a paranoid or whatever the hell it's called cyst on your ass and and then you have to do it and then you get traumatized by it and then you do it for 10 years um i can't wait for him to text me in like 20 minutes and be like hey can you take all of that out (laughs) oh what an interesting um fun episode though not a normal why do guys at all but uh, guys, we, we have to do this because I'm leaving and I don't know. Getting tracking Usama down is impossible. And this was a, this was a nice little uh, experiment for the show to see if um, whenever one of us can't do it, maybe the other one comes in and just like talks bullshit. I guess we'll talk more. If Usama does it again, if Usama does his own or I do it again, hopefully we'll have more questions to talk about. But um Thank you guys for listening. Oh, remember to send in your Hinge profiles, guys and girls. We have a lot of women. We would like some more male Hinge profiles. Why do guys podcast at gmail.com. Also, send in your stories. Send in your stories and questions. Why do guys podcast at gmail.com. All right. And also to our Instagrams, Usama Stands Up and um, Dylan J. Paladino. Um, both of those. And then what was, oh yeah, we're still trying to do that. We don't know. It seems that no one wants to, but I think you guys are just, you guys are just scared. Uh, if you have someone in your past with grudges that you haven't figured out with, with unfinished business, 
maybe an ex or something and they did something shitty. You have to give us a story. So we're not just calling up people that are fine human beings and just shitting on them. But if you send us their phone number, we will call them. And we will, I guess next time we'll figure out a way to like line it directly in so we don't have to keep like turning the, the mic all the way up. I think it sounded fine, yeah. but just um, we'll figure that out. Um, all right, perfect. Collie's here. You can come in, call him. We're finishing. Guys, thank you so much. We'll talk to you next week. Usama will be back, hopefully, with his weird fucked up um, hamstring. Oh, we might be recording a only audio one this weekend, if that's only Usama can, can do. But we'll figure it out from then. Have a good week, guys. We love you. Talk to you soon.